Ken Levine was at, was, or at least Ooh. showed a game at the show. And let me just tell Damn. you this. So I'm totally biased. I, I have to admit, as I once in a blue moon do, I am completely biased towards Ken Levine. He's a personal friend. And I don't want to say too much because I've, I know a little bit. And I even demonstrated that to, to Dustin before when we were recording. Um, the game is called Judas. And it's going to be Levine's first game since 2013. And I went and researched. I couldn't remember when was Bioshock Infinite revealed. I thought it was in 2011, but it was actually revealed in 2010. And so when you look at it now, Levine was on the stage at E3 in 2012, I want to say, announcing the Bioshock Vita game. But that was the last time, which never came out, obviously. And that was the last time that we had ever seen him at the show. And Irrational released Bioshock Infinite in 2013 and disbanded. Ghost Story Games in Boston is kind of the remnants, a much smaller team. and. So I've spoken with Levine about some things and I don't want to, I, it's, you know, that, that stuff when you like, I don't know what, what, what we even really said and like, it just gets all mixed up. So I don't want to overstep my bounds and, and anything like that. But, and I, I, I feel like I'm not going to have anything negative to say about this game because I am so fucking excited about it and seeing it. I just, I really couldn't fucking believe that I was looking at a new Bioshock game. I was actually applauding as I was watching it because I never saw it. I didn't learn anything like that. And um, yeah, you know, I wouldn't be privy to anything like that. And it's, it's an, an interesting thing to kind of internalize what I thought it was going to look like. And then to see it with my own two eyes. And it's, it looks fucking dope. I, I don't know. I was just, it really, I haven't been that excited to see a video game in a long time. Like, I don't know. We didn't see much, but they showed gameplay and I think it looks, it looks like a fucking Bioshock game, dude. Yeah. The, those horse enemies. Mm -hmm. the, the, I was like, this is, this looks so great. And the name and the imagery of the name that, that kind of green, that boxy green eighties look for the logo. Just dope, man. Just dope, dope shit. I'm going to have to ask Ken for a lo that logo and high res so I can make a shirt out of that. Yeah, definitely. I got to say, uh, Ken Levine, I think is obviously one of the all time greats. And I've been hoping and predicting this game's reveal for many years now. So to finally see it, uh, for real is awesome. And it's funny because what I am curious about is that it really does just feel like a new Bioshock game. And I wonder how this fits in since they are making an actual new Bioshock I game. The same thing. Cloud Chamber is making that game. And yeah, mm -hmm. it, you're exactly right. How does that all going to that aesthetic going to fit in? You know? Yeah. So that's going to be very interesting. And especially Definitely. because these two games are in competition, whether they like it or not. Uh, these two games will be compared to one another, even if they're very different. And this one looks fucking awesome. So uh, shout out, Ken. I don't know if you listen. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But uh, I'm a big fan. What's what is it with the aesthetic, dude? I mean, there's just something immediately, immediately. You, if you never even saw the ghost story um, logo in the beginning and you just saw the, the woman run up to the window, I would have been like, that's a, that's that's the Ken Levine game. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's so weird because I assume it's the same artists. A lot of these people have turned over. I'd have to ask maybe next time we talk. I'd love to have him on the show. Um, but the trailer for people that haven't seen it yet is just. It's so it's so cool. The guy with the cowboy hat. I love that. The shot of the chick. She's like looks like a younger using that word chick a lot today. Like she looks like an older teen in her early 20s, maybe. And she's got that smirk on her face with the red pink hair. And then there's like the black character in the silver that's dancing. And. um, I don't know, man, it's just the horse enemy. I don't know what it, I'm just watching it now. It looks so good. And it looks like you're using it. it I don't know. It just it, it, it looks just like Bioshock. Mm -hmm. How can it's you be upset awesome. about that? You know? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm watching it now. There's that one shot where she's riding the gun turret too and shooting one of the horse enemies. And there's, there's a shot someone in space looks yeah, like. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? What is going I, I this is a trailer. I watched it obviously when it premiered and I watched it once before we started recording. 
I need to like really sit down and watch it and listen to everything everyone says. Cause I'm like, I don't, I don't really know what the fuck is going on, but just from a, a visual perspective, um, it looks awesome. Like in the gameplay, the fact, dude, having a, some gameplay at oh, reveal. Definitely big time. Really appreciate that. Awesome stuff. Dollar move. I think when they there they show that one woman hitting that ball and it like explodes into this thing. I wonder if that's the store, like the circus of values in this world oh, or something like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because really it looks like they're using plasmids. I don't. I wonder. I can't help but wonder if this is a Bioshock game. Like I can't help but wonder mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. if there's some sort of connection and they just haven't acknowledged it. That would be fucking sick. That I would like. Be um, sick. At 33 seconds in there's this it shows this like glow sign that says eat the cookie this this image here is so bioshock infinite uh, and it just uh, it's like you said earlier like you see something that's like oh that's that's bioshock that's ken levine this is one of those moments and there's this guy with a horse head dude the horse head enemies are awesome and he just get and he just yeah. like, and he just is wiping the blood against it and there's that shot right after it, too. If people watch it, that looks that's like Bioshock yeah. as hell. That shot where that's it's just the, the water. Yeah, totally. It looks like you're going to like electrocute them, like electrocute mm-hmm. water down there or something and shock everyone. Oh, my goodness, dude. There's so much to love about this trailer. And I'm, I'm so excited for Ken. And I'm so excited for Ghost Story. I know it's been a long time coming. He is one of the, the greatest minds in the industry. Bioshock is a religious experience the first time you play it, in my opinion. And I feel the same way for Bioshock Infinite. They are. Oh my God, guys, if I know most of you have played it out there, I mean, obviously, if you've not played Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite and Bioshock 2 is really, I think, a great game, too. It's just not his game. But I also think that's a great game. If you've not played those games, you should drop everything. Nothing, nothing you're playing right now. Is as good as Bioshock. I hate to tell you. Nothing. What are you playing? Genshin Impact? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Dork. <laughs> 